Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one today. I am really excited because I'm going to be playing with the Sea Talk palette by Odin's Eye. I'm going to do swatches and talk about the palette and have some chatty rants. So if that sounds good to you, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So I'm sure by now you have seen some reviews of the Odin's Eye Perfect World Collection palettes. I did get two of the three palettes, but I decided to keep the video separate so we could do some more looks. I wanted to start with the Sea Talk palette because I really like Laura May Beauty. I've been watching her videos more and more often uh, lately because she likes fragrances. I like fragrances. She likes to build her own palettes, take them apart, put them back together and make really unique color stories. And I've gotten into that lately and I just really enjoy her content. Content. So of course I'll link her channel and her palette reveal and her looks. I really like the looks that she did with this palette as well. I'll kind of talk about it because you know sometimes we think we have to do a lot of shadows and we really don't. So I just thought overall she did a really great job with this palette. So again her palette is the Sea Talk palette and here's what it looks like. It is vegan and cruelty free and it has a 36 month shelf life. I think that the I think these palettes were about $33 and some change for each one and I don't think you could use codes with them. I'm going to turn this exposure down so you can just see the palette up close and the swatches like really nicely. So this is what the palette looks like up close. Laura May Beauty does love neutrals. She does do color too, but I did expect for her to have some neutral shades here and you do have some cool and warm colors here. And then we have the blues and then these two pops in the middle. So really interesting kind of combination. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the exposure like this so I can go ahead and do the swatches. So first two shades are Dolphin Tail and Sunken Treasure. Don't mind my yellow nails. They're still yellow from the polish staining. Great. Just peachy. So here are the swatches. Next we have Electric Kelp and Mermaid Scale. Electric Kelp is kind of like a satin. And here are those two shades. And last on the last and lastly on the top row we have Ocean Jewel. And that is really beautiful. It's like a blue purple duochrome. For the bottom row we have Smoky Pearl and Driftwood. Iridescent Shell and Sea Spray. And finally, we have Night Swim. And here is the Sea Talk palette. Overall, I think this color story is really unique. I don't think I have anything exactly like this in my collection, although I know I may have some similar shades, you know, throughout my collection. I don't have anything put together like this. I like this format of Odin's Eye doing the 10 shade palettes. It makes it really easy to see looks that I want to put together. So that really works out for me. So most of you know, the Perfect World collection was a collection of three palettes and there was the Sea Talk, the Flora palette, and then the Spirit palette. So it was kind of like animals, plants, and water, perfect world. I did not purchase the Spirit palette. Uh, the collaborator was Betty Jean, and you know, she's awesome. It was just really vibrant, and I just didn't think that I was going to use that palette, so I did not purchase that, and it was kind of hard for me because I kind of just wanted the complete set, but I, I think that was the best choice. I did get the Flora palette and the collaborator was makeup just for fun. So I'm going to do a separate video with that palette as well, but I just wanted to give each palette its flowers. And I think this is really beautifully put together and well done. So we're going to get into three looks and then I will be back at the end with my final thoughts. And this look is not from this palette. I'm filming the intro separate. This is actually the Mel Russ palette. So just wanted to share that in case you were like, what is that? All right, let's get into the three looks. All right, you guys, let's get started with these Sea Talk palette looks. I have my aerial ears for the Sea Talk. Sure. I feel like every time I'm on here, they're eating pizza every single time. Anyway, let's get into this first look. I'm really, really excited. I haven't swatched the palette or anything at this point, but I know I already showed them and I'm sure they're gorgeous, but I'm actually touching this right now for the very first time. Oh my gosh, what do I want to do? I kind of look at this palette, like two different sides, like you have like, this neutral, really cute, like 
warm and cool brown side here and then you have like the blues and then you have these two pop shades in the middle so let's do a blue look look at me okay i'm gonna go ahead and jump in Mom, yes can I eat the other piece? just try one first I did. you ate it already i, I want to start with night swim and I'm gonna use this What's Up Beauty R104 brush. It's really fluffy and tapered. It's a natural hair brush. And we'll see, you know, the pigmentation on Night Swim. Oh, I don't wanna mess up the mermaid scales, but I have to. All right, so I'm gonna just take this on the outer corner and let me, ooh, I already like it. Oh, this is pretty. I didn't even do anything yet. <laughs> But I do like this shade, y'all. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna bring it over with what's left on the brush. That way we can use it as a transition uh, shade as well. That is so nice looking. August is mad because Marky, after Sunday school, Marky went to his grandparents' house and August wanted to come back, which is fine. So August and I hung out here but Marky ended up getting pizza for lunch while he was at his grandparents' house and brought some leftovers back. And August wants some of them. So I'm like, yeah, you can have a piece. Oh no, he wants like half. No, should've went. You should've went to your grandparents' house. But dinner is on its way. So he's just a little salty right now, but what's new with him? He's always in a the mood these days. I ordered a crab cake. Oh, let me tell y'all. <laughs> So we had Marky's final birthday celebration yesterday. Uh, so now everyone has celebrated Marky's birthday. And I was really looking forward to some leftovers from that. When I tell you there's nothing here, like there were 48 wings, all the wings are gone. I don't even know how that happens. All the pepperoni pizza is gone. All that was left was onions and green peppers, which is what I got for the adults because that's usually what they want. And then Tyrone made this queso dip, a whole crock pot full. It had ground turkey in it. It was just so good, gone. Like everything is gone. So because of that, I felt like I could order a crab cake. That's really what I wanted to share. Okay, I'm very happy with how this looks. I think this looks so nice. It's diffused. There's a gradient. I just have nothing to say except wow now I'll probably come back with the night swim shade a little bit later after we put on the shimmer mmm okay now I want to go into the shimmers but we're gonna have to use a brush because Odin's eye shimmers can get hard panty and I am not for that today and let me see if I want to get my Mayron Mixing Medium just in case. I'll be right back. I'm back and I want to go into Ocean Jewel with this uh, Melt Cosmetics shader brush. And I'm just going to go into the shade first. And let's just see if we put it on without any type of um, like glitter primer. I would advise tapping it. And that looks really beautiful but I am going to, actually, you really don't need anything. That's gorgeous. I am going to go in to it with the Mayron Mixing Medium though. So I'm just giving it a spray and let's add it on. Yeah, now I just feel like it pops a lot more and it's gonna adhere to the eye better. That is a really, really beautiful blue. See, these like gray blues, y'all. I'm not gonna say that I don't like blues anymore. It's just, Finding my blues. Yeah, juice. Yes, you can get some juice. Yeah. Go ahead. I love how Marky always asks, like, what he can have. It's so cute. All right, this looks great. Now, I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to do sea spray or mermaid scale for the rest of the eye because I know I wanna do electric kelp. I think I wanna do electric kelp for the inner corner highlight. Let's, let's do sea spray. So there's sea spray. I'm gonna use uh, the same brush and just use that to finish the lid. And sea kelp, oh, sea spray has a little kind of a purple iridescent. Probably would get more of a contrast 
if we used the mermaid scale shade but this is just I just love this I love how this looks and I think that these blue shades are gonna look really nice matched up with the browns as well so that might be something to explore and another look even using mermaid scale for the inner corner highlight would be nice too hmm. i'm gonna stick with what i said wait a minute is electric kelp okay electric kelp is like this like satin shimmer let's try that out so going into electric kelp now yeah i like that for the inner corner highlight i think it looks really nice with this blue and i do have a little bit of fallout but nothing serious And I think what I'd like to do for the lower lash line, because it kind of already started here, is use a C spray underneath. So I almost want to just like line the lower lash line with that. So I'm definitely going to be spraying this again. It came down a little lower than I want it to, but that's okay with me. That is really nice. Oh my gosh. You know what liner is going to look good with this? Prance by ColourPop, which... I missed one of my Instagram friends um, DM that it came back on the ColourPop site for a dollar. That is such a good one. If y'all know any other like nice periwinkle blue liners, let me know because that has been my all time favorite. I'm going to see if it's still good. I'm try to keep this one a little closer to the lower lashes. And I could have definitely chosen a like a liner brush wow so there's the first look i think it looks really really nice all right i'm gonna finish it up i'm gonna look for that liner and then i'll be back to let you know my thoughts about this one all right you guys here is the finished first look and let me just turn this down one because i feel like all right that's a little bit better I am really, really happy with this look. And I did find Prance, so I don't know if you can see it, but my liner is like that periwinkle blue. And then on my upper lashes, I took the Victoria Beckham Navy Matte Liner or Satin Liner and just did a thin layer on the upper lashes. I have on the Isamaya Beauty Rubber Lash Mascara. I quickly wanna go over my face details. The foundation and the concealer is gonna stay the same throughout the video, but you know, the blush and the lipstick may change. I'm wearing the NARS Advanced Light Reflecting Foundation. I've been wearing that a lot lately, and I have gone back to using sponges over brushes, and I'm just really liking how that's coming out. Same thing with the concealer. I'm using the Dior concealer, and I can't tell you the last time I've used a sponge to apply my concealer. I don't know, I'm into sponges right now. So the Dior Forever Skin Correct, and then the powder is my Tatcha Loose Setting Powder. This is Pomelo Peach from House Labs. Yes, I did get the other two that I wanted because I still had gift cards. And then the lipstick is a gloss. It's a gloss by Pat McGrath. It's uh, Flesh Fantasy because I just wasn't sure what I was gonna do, but this was perfect. This look is excellent. I really, really like it a lot. I know it's monochromatic, but I like that. I, I enjoy a good monochromatic look. I do think it's special when you get up on it with the satin yellow inner corner highlight. I love the periwinkle underneath the eye. I just think it turned out beautiful. So, so really happy and I feel so inspired to create some more looks. So we're going to get into that right now. Hey y'all, good morning or whatever day it is, afternoon, evening, good night. Let's talk about how yesterday august school had like five classrooms closed because kids were sick and then they decided to close the whole school today so he's been asking to be able to come and be with me at work and my principal said yes no oh did you tell him you lost another tooth we don't have time for all this this morning on the bottom mm -hmm. it's so cute okay that, okay they saw it. They saw it. Now go brush your teeth. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're doing look number two. Oh, can you close my door? I don't like the way that looks was half open like that. <coughs> with the Sea Talk it's palette. You know what I'm saying. I'm gonna start with Whoa. Driftwood. Oh y'all, my nails are still yellow. So just so y'all know, okay. from the, uh, one of my friends on here said it was probably staining from the army green polish. So 
I'm, I've been trying not to have my nails in the videos lately, but they all up in the videos. Okay, we're using driftwood on a Bristles Beauty E01 DL brush, which is a really, really fluffy brush. I'm so excited. I'm doing like a little neutral look and then we'll do one more. So yes, so his school is closed. <laughs> it's just a lot. So the teacher sent home all his work for today and he's so pumped about coming to school with me that he did all his work yesterday. It's cute though, it is cute. Oh, you know what? I didn't mean to use this. I wanted to use dolphin tail. I'm gonna use driftwood. <sighs> okay, maybe, maybe this looks gonna be different than I thought because I wanted to use, dang, I was gonna make this like a little quad. But now I'm thinking use these two with the pink maybe? Hmm, that's a thought. That's a thought. Or with the, okay, okay, we'll come up with something. I like that there are warm and cool options in this palette because I am really getting into cool tones and gray blues. So this is great. And this is a beautiful color. And I'm wearing like a khaki color cardigan today with this t-shirt so this is gonna all gonna look nice pulled together what time is it okay so my student intern her name is courtney she is gonna be a great fit with our team she is very excited i think i told y'all in another video i was getting a student intern so i'm like are y'all really choosing me to mentor somebody I think I'm good, but at the same time, I am a not by the book type teacher and I just don't care. So that's how I feel. Like yesterday I saw a lesson, it was trash. I changed the whole lesson for today until told everybody what I was doing on the team. Like, hey, because they put stuff in the curriculum that my kids can't read. <laughs> like, you want me to sit up here looking like Boo Boo the Fool, trying to teach. <laughs> Whole nother, you know what? Let me know if y'all wanna hear a teacher rant because I can give it to y'all. I can give it to y'all. I am putting a little more of driftwood uh, in the on the outer corner. Anyway, let me tell y'all about the lesson real fast since we're talking about it. The lesson that uh, I changed was about understanding characters and they were using the emotion of empathy, which I do talk to my kids about all the time, every second. Anyway, uh, they had them reading this book that a lot of my kids would not be able to access. So I randomly came across this uh, short film on YouTube. It's probably on Disney Plus called Umbrella. Y'all, I'm glad I watched it because it was sad. And it, it's no talking. Hold on. I'm going to go into Sunken Treasure before I'm late on a finger. And it's basically about a kid or kids growing up in an orphanage. But it was about this one. Oh, I said, I, damn, I said, I don't like using fingers in um, Odin's eye because of the tendency for hard panning, but oh well. So he has this flashback of when his, his dad and him, he and his dad, sorry, teacher, were refugees. And eventually, you know, they were like living on the street and he couldn't take care of him. So he dropped him off at this orphanage. And when he walked away, all he could see was this yellow umbrella. So he always had this fixation uh, about the yellow umbrella. I don't want to spoil it, but we even have glimpses of this kid when he becomes an old man. I was like, yes, I need something to shock these kids. You know what I mean? Like empathy and there's no talking. So it really leaves some great pause points uh, to talk about what's happening in the story because everybody might not make the connection. It's gonna lead to a great discussion if they're serious about it. And my kids, like they love deep discussion. Like they are so into it. They ask all kinds of questions. So uh, some I don't have the answer to and I definitely tell them that like, let's look it up. Let's look it up because I don't know. So I'm excited. I'm going to tell y'all how that goes. But maybe I can link the movie. It's eight, it's seven minutes and 56 seconds. Oh, this is nice. It's basic in the best way. I'm into it. We need an inner corner highlight shade. Ah, uh, why don't we go ahead with mermaid scale? Do we use mermaid scale? I don't think so. You brush your teeth? Excellent. That's gonna be nice. I washed all my brushes last night, so I don't have a whole lot to choose from. This is a Bristles Beauty P07P. 
brush. So Jamie, aka Makeup Release Radar, new topic. It's my, my little scatterbrain kicking in. <sighs> Me and her have been on Instagram just talking about fragrances because we really like fragrances. So I ordered some fragrances from Montal. Is that how you say that brand? Chocolate Greedy. Oh my God, then I got on YouTube. It just went down the whole rabbit hole with fragrances. Also, Dossier is sending me three. And then she put me on to Twisted Lily. Have y'all heard of Twisted Lily? Because now I've heard of it. Because I placed an order. Let me know if y'all want to um, see all that. So it's cool because then you don't have to do like a bunch of blind buys. But I'm really getting into smelling good. But see, what I don't want to do is transfer my, uh, oh no. I don't want to transfer my makeup spending or my beauty spending. We're going in like five minutes, seriously. You need to go now because she's good. Courtney's going to be waiting in the car. She can't get into school without me. My teacher, my teacher. Miss Courtney, that's the mean teacher that have my school. Oh, okay. Oh, well, this. But she's well, short. well, she's not mean. Um, this is Driftwood again on a Sydney Grace liner brush for the lower lash line. I don't. Oh, here's what I was saying. Since I haven't been buying as much eyeshadow, I don't want to transfer that into something else to obsess about because I have an obsessive personality where it's like if it's not one thing, it's something else. But I didn't feel like I don't have a huge perfume collection at all, and uh, I thought it would be nice to to sample some fragrances because I like I like that but I can't these fragrances are expensive I cannot blind buy anything so anyway let me know if y'all want to see that if you like fragrances I'm not trying to switch the content over or anything like that permanently but um just you know did y'all want to see it when I open this open the stuff up normally I'd say let me finish off this look and I'd be right back however I have everything here I'm using a Victoria Beckham liner on the lower lash line in the shade Coco in the waterline, just to give it. I now I am loving this look. Yes, this is gorgeous. It smells like chicken in here. You know what, August? I know August says it smells like chicken. So I need to um put something down the sink. That's what that means. You know what? It's real. Like <laughs> it's real life here. You didn't put chickens in here. No, I didn't put chicken in there. I said I need to clean the sink out. Um, let me just tell you, I have on the same base makeup, but blush is Sublime Flush from Hourglass. Lipstick is Divine Rose from Pat McGrath. The lip gloss. You know who else's video I watched yesterday? Um, the Fancy Face did some lip swatches. She had five. Uh, I have one of the shades Larch for the Hourglass, but the reason why I'm telling you this, I just love how she filmed that video. If you watch her, go watch that video. Like she did little video swatches at each and then she had, I have to figure out how to do it because it was amazing. She did um, the lip swatches or whatever. And then she had all six or five. She had all five next to each other, like cubes on the screen. And it, but she was moving. So she was like this, it was like five of her. And then on the last cube, she had all the arm swatches. Like this is a, so extra professional. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I'm gonna mention her in this and maybe she'll see. Cause it was really, I love, maybe she always does that, but that's the first time I caught it. I was like, oh, I love this. My software is not that advanced and I'm struggling with my software cause I edit on my iPad. I cannot be carrying a computer around. It's just not happening, Kevin. It's not. Okay, this is the look you guys. I absolutely love this one. I might love it more than the first. This is so beautiful with the little blue inner corner. Wing wait. I'm into it. So I'm gonna get ready to get out of here. Skedaddle, I'm not wearing these ears. I need your shoes and socks on. It's time to leave. I'm sorry. I don't need you to be sorry. I need you to, I need you to get your shoes on. There's them. I, I don't even need a clothes because we're about to leave. All right, this is my look for work today. I have on this little shirt that says puff, which I don't have a puff anymore. But yes, that's it, y'all. I hope you have a great day. And I'm going to be back in like two shakes of a lamb's tail for look number three. All right, you guys, we are on look three. I'm so mad. Y'all know I wear this hoodie in like a lot of my videos. But um, the string came out. Is there an invention for that? Because... I keep saving my strings that keep coming out of my hoodies. I mean, the smart thing would be to tie the, the 
string before I wash, but I have on a, this looks really pale, a Bite <laughs> Beauty Lip Mask I found. I, it smelled good and it seemed fine, so I'm using that for right now. Um, I am kind of not in the best mood this morning and I'm trying to be positive. So let's get into this look and maybe I'll feel better. I was thinking about what kind of look that I wanted to do. I know I want to use these two browns, but I also haven't used this pink and I'm, I kind of am not into the pink y'all. I'm sorry. So it might be an inner corner highlight at best. That's kind of how I'm feeling about electric kelp and iridescent shell. Although I saw Lauren May Beauty do a look where she used electric kelp as just a sheer wash of color with something for an inner corner highlight and it was absolutely beautiful, but I'm not feeling that for me at this time. So please respect my privacy. Let's get into this. I'm ready. Dolphin Tail and Smoky Pearl. Those are the shades today. I know it might be a bit of boring looks with this palette. Well, not the blue, the blue wasn't, it wasn't boring. I like, I like both looks. So I guess that's all that matters. And I'm going into Dolphin Tail with a What's Up Beauty R104 brush. And I'm gonna just do that on the outer and inner corner. Turn this down, cause last time I felt like it was too bright. And there we go. MAC Paint Pot. I have all the same base makeup, but today for blush, I'm wearing very lightly Hibiscus Haze from House Labs and then my Chanel Essential Balm on the cheek to give it some dew. And we'll have to pick out a lipstick. It's, oh, I think I did pick out a lipstick though. Uh, I'll go into this. This is Punchy from Maybelline. I need something long wearing today because we have a field trip. So we'll be like, oh my gosh, that's so fun. No. So we're going to, so this might be a little ranty session because I need to get this out before 7.15, it's 6.54. We're going to an outdoor center. This is a fourth grade field trip that is taken every year. I you should be thankful because in past years, or not last year, but before that, this used to be an overnight trip. Mm -mm. So no, that was not gonna be a good look for this particular group of children. I'm glad we're just doing this extended day. We are not getting back until 4.40, which is fine. However, we're having a Black History Month concert at 5.30 and fourth grade is singing. So today is gonna be a pretty long day. August school is closed again for illness. So they'll have to get dropped off. I have progress reports due tomorrow and I'm not done. I'm not 50% done. I don't even think I'm 25% done. And so tonight after this long day where I would just like to have a glass of wine and just chill out, watch something with Tyrone, Curb Your Enthusiasm, that's what we watch at night now. I'll be doing progress reports or I'm gonna be getting up at like 4 a.m. to knock this out because they are due tomorrow at eight. This is a very cool gray taupe brown. And I don't know if I'm in the mood for this either but it's too late. So I like the shade cause I, I like topes, but um, I'm just kind of in a mood today and I don't know what I really want to do with myself. I probably could have just put on bronzer and left, but I do want to chat and do makeup. So let's just, uh, I just have to sit in my feelings for a minute. So I hope this doesn't sound too Debbie Downer-ish or negative because what if my mic's not on? Oh, it's on. I was about to be like, Dude, we were gonna scrap the whole thing for today. But if I don't acknowledge the feelings that I have and, I, and it's like that toxic positivity, like, no, it's, it's great. No, it's not great, you know? Because uh, here's the thing about the field trip that I'm not gonna enjoy. We did not have enough parent chaperones that wanted to run a station. They wanted to chaperone a group, which, you know what? Let me just back this up. That is their right. If, I'm, if, I, if someone asks me to chaperone a trip, I wanna walk around with Marky. I don't want to run a station. I don't wanna run a lesson. I don't wanna teach it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm taking this trip to be with my child. Guess who's running stations? I'm running a station where they're down by the freaking Severn River looking for plankton and they have to wear life jackets. Like, not to mention it's not just one station. I mean, I'm have like five or six different groups. 
I'm so not excited for this, y'all. I just have to be completely honest. I'm not excited. I have students attending the trip that I'm concerned about because, you know, they want everybody to go. I'm going to be like this. You know what? I, if I was the principal or whatever, I, I do want equal opportunities for all the students. But there's just some students that I would say you may not go unless you have a chaperone, period, point blank. No chaperone, you do not go. So everybody's going. And there's not gonna be any teachers to be able to go around and monitor how those children are doing. You know why? Because we're running stations. So when we get back at 440, I'm switching to a Sonia G soft shader. When we get back at 440, it's not like, first of all, I don't know who's staying for the concert and who's not. That's problem number two, because that could change. Parents could pick their kids up and be like, it's, it's already late, like we're not staying, whatever. There was a bright idea, not uh, because these kids do need to eat, that we're gonna have to get them something to eat. So my colleague, Ms. Mason, she texted last night like, <sighs> This looks really glum. You know what? It's fitting. She uh, got 60 bags of chips and 60 juices for the whole fourth grade. So I'm gonna cash out her some money for that. That's a snack. We will also be providing pizza. And then on Friday, each team, well, each team has to sign up during the year to do a staff breakfast. Luckily, fourth grade isn't by themselves. We're working with third grade, so now we have to uh, provide something for the staff breakfast. Let me go into uh, Smoky Pearl. I don't know what kind of money people think we have to have everybody that's gorgeous sign up for a staff breakfast. Like, it's not optional is the thing. It's not optional for us to sign up for the staff breakfast. That's my issue. And you know, out of the goodness of our hearts, we do want the children to have something to eat because we're excited and happy that some really are passionate about the Black History Month song that we're doing and that they wanna stay. So yeah, I feel like, okay, fine. The staff breakfast thing though, I'm just kinda like, first of all, when people provide staff breakfast, I they'll be like, there's breakfast in the lounge. You know what it is? Stuff I don't eat, carby stuff. Like, I'm backing up again, y'all. I'm sorry, because I don't want to be on y'all face. Or maybe I do. I don't know. I like this. Ooh, I do. It is like kind of dreary and cool. This um, smoky pearl shade is really, really gorgeous. Really gorgeous. Nice job, Lauren, on that. I mean, nice job on the palette, truth be told. I don't want to do this. I don't want to provide. See, and I signed up to bring in, this is such a ranty session, y'all. I'm gonna have to just timestamp it and just put in the thumbnail, like, we got three different topics we're talking about, I think. I think I talked about something different, I don't know. But fruit, that's great. Fruit is expensive. I'm not buying fruit, I'm so sorry. We're doing Nutri-Grain bars, and you know what the sad thing is? I don't eat that. I try to eat low carb. What do I eat for breakfast? Mm, it's not really the most low carb. I eat tomato caprese pretty much. Or yogurt and maybe I'll, you know, maybe I'll do yogurt. Yogurt and chia seeds. Nobody's gonna want the chia seeds. Maybe I'll get a thing of blueberries. I don't know. But anytime they say there's breakfast in the staff lounge, I see people coming out with donuts and pastries and all this foolery and I know if I go in there and there's some type of Asiago cheese bagel situation with vegetable cream cheese, it is a wrap for me because I do eat that. But I try not to. You know, I'll be really honest, I save my carbs for wine because that's what I like to do. So I got my low carb sandwich for the trip today. Might eat a piece of pizza though. I might, you know, I'm not gonna have this bad relationship with food anymore, I'm tired of it. But I do, when I can do low carb, I do. Because there are lots of things that I like that happen to be low carb, but I'm not into having a bad food relationship. Like, oh my God, like if something comes up unexpected. But I just am not a sweets person, so when people have pastries and donuts, I'm not excited. And cupcakes and stuff, like they had a baking challenge at my school, they don't want all this stuff. 
I'm like, that's great, but I don't like this stuff. I really don't. I do like brownies, I do, but it's not something that I eat on a regular because I cannot, that amount of sweet is uh, really overwhelming. It's good, but it's overwhelming. Like one of my coworkers, it was so good. She made these like chocolate chip cookies, but it had a whole Reese's cup in, in the middle. And it was good, but it was like a mouth explosion that I can't have on a daily basis. I was like, oh, wow, wow. You know what I'm saying? Are right, you know what I wanna do? What time is it? Ooh, 7.04. I'm gonna take a iridescent shell. So it's not as pinky, you know, it is iridescent. It's not a pink, it's like a that, purpley pink. So what if we just topped a little bit of the Smoky Pearl, I might regret it, with this? I think, that's gonna actually look nice. And so much for a halo situation. All right, I'm sorry for calling this pink because it's not. So can you see the little pop there? I'm feeling this. This is, gives it something just a little extra. Oh, I see. You know what? Let me tell y'all something. I'm moving on from the trip because I can't do anything about it. I have to teach these lessons. I'll be sulking in my head. And that's it. Oh my God, this was the move. This was the move. Sorry. Let me do the under eye, cause I gotta go. <sighs> Switching topics. I was watching Hannah Louise Poston last night and she was doing a new makeup hot takes going into dolphin tail underneath the eye. And one of the things she said that really, I mean, it wasn't that it was a revolutionary point, but sometimes when people say things that you kind of know, but they say it out loud. It's a revolutionary point. And what she said was, and I have to keep this in mind. She was talking about the Muse palette from Cosmic Brushes. And what she was saying was, you know, when we look at these eyeshadow palettes, what attracts us is that whole story that we see. Those swatches for the Muse palette look amazing. They really, really do. And the Serenity palette looked as great as well. But we don't put that whole rainbow explosion on our eyes at one time. So sometimes, you know, seeing these large palettes, it's like, oh my gosh, it's overwhelmingly beautiful. The swatches look great. But realistically, you know, how many shades do you wear? Lately, I've been wearing three to four. When I first was doing YouTube and trying out palettes, I'm trying to do like five and six shades, 10 shades. Nothing is wrong with that. It's just not for me, you know? So I thought that was such a great point. Like what's attracting us is this color story, but what looks are you gonna create? That's why I really liked when Lauren did her video. And you know what? I don't know what I was expecting her to do because I know what kind of looks that she likes. But when she did the wash with the electric kelp shade, I'm like, that is so Lauren because that's how you can use this palette. We don't have to feel bad that we only use one shade. And I be feeling bad like, damn, I only use one shade. No, you can do a wash. You can do one, one shade. You know what I mean? I just wanted to say to Hannah Louise Poston, thank you for just saying that out loud because it's just something I think we get caught up in. You know, we get caught up in that full story, but what are we gonna do? Like, this was a great look right here. You know, I mean, I did add this to it, which is great, but I think it's something to really think about because now that I'm seeing how I use my shadows, what the hell am I gonna do with these 212 palettes that I have? That's after the declutter. <sighs> I, I don't know. We're going back into iridescent show. Like, what are we gonna do with that? The answer is nothing. Let it sit there, try to use it when we can. But I just really have to think about this. I'm getting a little fallout and that's, I really don't care this time. Uh, Cause I didn't spray anything and that's where I'm at. Let's see what this punchy shade looks like with this look. It's a little warm, but that's okay. I'm gonna be putting on a hat and call it a day. I think that's gonna be fine. I mean, I should've went with Allstruck though. Let me grab Allstruck. Allstruck is better for the occasion. It's just gonna have to go on top. See, that's better. I am taking the Victoria Beckham liner in the shade Bordeaux. That's what I have here. Let me just show y'all the whole look really quick. Cause I think this is so pretty. Yes, it's like really nice. I just have to do a whole video of a rant. I, is anybody else tired of adulting but me? Is anybody else stressed out or borderline on the verge of being depressed? 
Because I feel like I need to talk about that as well. Like, I don't know if this is what life was meant to be like. Just running around, trying to just fit in little bits of joy when you can. Like, is that really what it was supposed to be? Because I, that's where I am. Running around, trying to fit in little bits of joy when I can. I just said that. But saying it again is emphasizing this point. Uh trying to make the best out of bad situations i mean i do think life is about change and adapting and all that stuff but i also thought life was about finding your purpose and doing that and i really don't even know what that is anymore y'all i'm so sorry i do not know because the way i'm feeling about work not the people at work or the my school it's just education itself is really not good and i don't feel like i'm in a position to make the change and then i'm like even people who are in the position to make the change secretly aren't in the position to make the change like you think it could be principals they no, they still got to use the same curriculum you know and the curriculum is really what's depressing me and just some organizational type things because of what different uh, supposedly data is saying about education how students should be grouped this that and the third i don't know i think you can find things to support pretty much anything you want so they just want to do it this way. Hey, let me get my hat and see what we're going to do with the hat. I got to text my teacher like, can you just go, you can go ahead into the school because at this point, I'm not on time. I was about to, oh, she told me she's running late. <sighs> let me get my hat. I really need to do my hair, y'all. But y'all know, I did a video on it. It's a process. I need like two hours. When do I have that? Hmm. The middle of the night. This is really pretty. I This is you know what, anytime I feel sad, if I feel sad today, I am going to look at this beautiful, beautiful eye look. It is so pretty to me and it was so easy to create. Oh, oh, it has frost on it. Do you see sparkles? I do, that's the frost. Ooh, that's cute. Ah, cute! What? My hat, you don't think it's cute? I do. Oh, thank you. It is Envy Park. So, uh, we're gonna finish with this look. I gotta get ready for work or get ready to leave. <sighs> I need to leave. This is cute. I, I just think that, you know, I don't know if anybody is in the same boat as me, but it, it, here's what I was talking to Tyrone about. I know there's some things that I need to shift around and change in my life. I don't know exactly what those things are or how to do it but I know it needs to happen. So I feel a bit stuck because I don't have a plan. I'm not in a position financially where I can just make these changes. If it involves, I'm not saying quit my job because I'm not quitting my job. <laughs> I mean, the things I really love about my job and being a teacher, so that's not what I'm saying. But I have to figure out how to make all of this work with this new mentality that I have that I need to slow things down and you know live that soft life. I want to enjoy my life, even when I'm enjoying things. Like for right now, I am enjoying talking about this because this is really the therapy piece that's really coming in for me right now because I need to have this out and then I need to go back and look at it to, to hear what I'm saying again. But guess what I'm sacrificing? Being to work on time because I was usually, I was leaving work at like 7.15. I was leaving at like 7.25 and I have been getting to school early. I do have Courtney, my intern coming and you know, I wanna be on time. I wanna be able to, you know, just chat with her about the day before we go and get started. Not just, cause it's not just me anymore. It's not just about me. I'm helping somebody else become a teacher and I wanna be able to like, debrief and just, hey, this is what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? I wanna be able to do that. And I can't do that getting to work at 738. I could do that for myself because I go over it in my head, but I have somebody else and I want her to really feel a part of my classroom. And I think she does, I hope she does. That's it, but let me know your thoughts about life right now, about adulting, about all of this, because I know that there are other generations that have had it way worse than me. And there are people right now in this generation that have it way worse. It's not, I don't even have a worse situation. That's not even what I'm trying to say. My life is, is great, it's not bad. 
But I, I also, let me say but, it's like, but this is the part that matters. Things need to change. And what I think I was trying to say earlier that I didn't is that I don't want something drastic to happen to force that change. I want to change things now before it gets to that point where there's some type of breaking point, breakdown, tragic event. You know what I'm saying? That forces, that forces you to change. And I've had a tragic event that has forced me to change. I don't need another one. So it's like, I don't need another one. So I'm looking at myself from outside of myself. Like this girl is running around. Okay. Trying to figure it out while everything is being kept together. It's like kept together by a thread, you know? And so I'm like, try and get that together y'all. All right. I'm gonna come back. I know y'all didn't ask for that, but I hope it helps somebody. And just know you're not alone. If you feel like me, you are not alone. Like sometimes we gotta laugh to keep from crying. I'm gonna be laughing on this trip. Wish I could take something with me to help me get through the day. That might have been inappropriate, but anyway, I'm not. I, I have uh, tea. Actually, I'm not bringing tea because I don't want to be going to the bathroom there. But that's a, that's another thing. I don't want to go to the bathroom there. So I have a sparkling flavored strawberry soda, which is, it's not soda, it's sparkling water with flavor, which I didn't know it had flavor. And then I've got water with a propel pack. I got a wrap with ham, pepperoncinis, sharp cheddar. That's what I'm looking forward to eating this lunch, okay? Uh, sharp cheddar with a little bit of, um, what do we call that? Italian dressing and spinach. I have my salt and vinegar almonds, uh, perfectly rationed and my caprese yogurt with chia seeds. That's, that's what I've got going. All right. I'm going, I'll probably be, oh my God, I'm gonna have to do a whole rant about this trip y'all. Cause I already know, I already know it's about to go down. Um, I'm going to get into the closing of this video, but this palette is awesome. I, I've loved using this. I've loved every look. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. All right. I'll see y'all in a second. All right, you guys, I hope you like the looks and the little therapy session. I know I definitely had one, uh, at the end and the trip actually turned out well. It did. I was definitely tired when it was over, but the kids did very well on the trip and the station that I did, I was mentioning is we were looking for plankton and I definitely got so many steps yesterday. I didn't do a separate workout because I counted that as my workout. It was so much up and down. Overall, I think they had a really good time. And then I had, we had a good amount of kids stay for the Black History Month program, which was beautiful. They did an excellent job and um, the kids remember the words for our song and everything like that. So it was great. Got an extension on progress reports, so they're still not done, but I'm gonna try to get as many done as I can today and have them turned in tomorrow. We have some parent conferences this morning. It's gonna be kind of a, a wacky kind of day, but we are going to get through it and you are going to get through it too. So let me get into the overall thoughts about the Sea Talk palette. So overall, I really, really liked this palette. And when I did the third look, the one that you just saw, I don't know, I had not swatched the palette yet. So I just, I kept calling this a pink. It is, I mean, but not really. It's got like pink purple reflex. I didn't expect to really like that shade as much as I did. Like using it as a topper over the Smoky Pearl. I love the colors chosen for this palette. I kind of see myself kind of sticking to the sides like this. I do think a nice potential look would be the brown and blues together that if I did a fourth look, that's probably what it would have been. But I like that there's variety, but it's just not too, too much. If that makes sense. I get really overwhelmed with large palettes and I, it takes me a long time. And when I'm doing my makeup, like in real life, I really don't have time to sit and plan and all that kind of stuff. So uh, this palette kind of makes it easy for me. I think that this is right on par with everything else that I've bought from Odin's Eye. Prior to this, it was the Christmas palettes, same formula. I know that sometimes the shimmers can get hard pan, like, like this one, for example, maybe not these two, but certain ones can get hard pan. So you might want to go in with a brush on those. 
I like the satiny shade here. I might have to try that all over the lid wash that she did. It's not a look I would typically go for, but this is kind of a nice enhancing shade. And I just don't have any complaints. I love these blues and this one kind of as an inner corner, but like the navies and like these like kind of black base, like this one is really, really deep. I love that with that purple kind of duochrome. I don't know, it's, it's a really deep base on this blue Ocean Jewel. I love that shade. And I liked how Sea Spray was a nice compliment. I mean, overall, I have no complaints about this palette at all. And when I saw the reveal of these palettes, well, not the reveal, but when I saw the teaser of the palettes, I honestly thought they were all gonna be pastels. So when I saw what the palettes really looked like, I was very surprised. So all three palettes are beautiful. As I said, the Spirit one just wasn't, you know, didn't frost my cookies, but I really, really like this one a lot. I think Laura May Beauty did a wonderful job and congratulations to her. I, I think it just really fits who she is uh, as I continue to watch her content and get to know her as a, like as a creator. I don't know it for real, but you know what I'm saying? As a YouTube creator, this really fits her. So that's going to be it for this palette. I hope I didn't leave anything out. I really liked it. And I, you know, sometimes when I do uh, three palette looks, by the second day or the third day, I'm tired of using the palette. I'm like, oh, I gotta use this one again. And that's never how I want to feel when I'm using a palette because, you know, that doesn't make it fun. I didn't feel like that with this palette. I was just like, mm, what can I come up with next? You know, and that's how I felt. And it might be the size of the palette too. It's really approachable. So that's how I feel. Um, let me just check to see if these palettes are still in stock because I really, don't know so the palettes are still in stock there's low stock on the bundle of all three the planet spirit palette is still there there's low stock on the flora palette i call that the green one and laura may beauty's palette sea talk is still available so it is 33 dollars 90 if you were interested it did come with the scarf so in case you were wondering it came with the scarf even if you only get one palette so sometimes i wear them as headbands actually my legendary diversa scarves like i'm sleeping with tina every night you know what i'm saying on my head so <laughs> the fancy face that's tina so anyway that's going to be it for this video let me know what you think let me know if you purchased this palette i know i saw a lot of mixed reviews as far as people's reactions to the palette so let me know what you thought about the collection as a whole when i talked about it on purchase or pass i was thinking it would have been nice to have a fourth palette that focused on people because perfect world i was thinking about you know just all the issues we have in the world and people not getting along different skin tones like just a straight neutral palette like some neutrals some neutral shimmers just to kind of represent like different skin tones i thought that would be kind of cool because i mean i know we would go with the the animal planet spirit palette but i don't think that represented like people you know so i was thinking like you know tans and browns and you know some icy shimmers just something to represent a lot of different colors um that we have of all our people but anyway that's neither here nor there let me know what you thought about the collection if you purchased the whole collection a palette from the collection or if you just skipped on it all together let me know your thoughts down in the comments because you know i love to chat about makeup um one other thing two other things every time i film i keep forgetting to thank you guys for all the birthday wishes my birthday was back on february 11th and every time i filmed and then i had filmed things before my birthday so i didn't mention it but i wanted to thank you guys for all the birthday wishes i did have a really great birthday and i'm gonna do a birthday haul video because and i don't really do hauls but i did purchase some things for my birthday with my gift cards and some money that i got so i got to purchase some things that i really wasn't planning on purchasing like i got a lethal palette that i created uh, I got four of the house lab blushes because I wasn't planning on getting those but I was like you know when else do you splurge for your birthday yes you get things that you may not normally get you know and I got a hourglass lipstick so I do want to do like a like a try on of all that stuff. So I'm really excited about that. I got like a couple new fragrances and some samples coming, so really excited. And the second thing is that I'm super behind on comments, but I really like to do a response. I do heart some of them, but 
I, I heart all of them, but I, I like to write back and I'm really behind. So I just want you to know that if you did leave me a comment or when you do, like, I really do appreciate it. And when you take the time to write to me, I like to take the time to write back. It's just that time has been very, very scarce. So please don't think that I've ignored your comments because that's not the case at all. So I just wanted to say that because I really do value you all in this community and all of the interaction. So I don't want you to be like, oh, she's not responding. Like, that's not me at all. I'm just really behind. So. Again, thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another one. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay safe and I'll see y'all really soon. Bye. Oh,